last 10, 20 years, housing stock that used to be here is down, it's gone. Because what we have here is something far worse. You know, in 1995, I wrote a book called Fighting Terrorism. And I said that if we don't arrest the tide of Islamic uh, militant terrorism, we, militant Islamic terrorism, then the next thing that will be is not a, a, a car bomb uh, in the uh, World Trade Center, uh, but uh, a nuclear bomb. Now, it wasn't a nuclear bomb. It was a 350-ton conventional bomb. So what do you do when you beat the insurance companies in court and they still won't pay? A new governor was just elected. Elliot Spitzer, an old friend who I knew well. I said, Elliot, if you don't help me, I'll never collect from the insurance companies. And guess what? He listened, and he said, you know what? You're entitled. I'm going to get you the money. And in six months, he got me the four and a half billion dollars. So it's going to be interesting, because once we get finished with Tower 3, we're then going to proceed to Tower 2. And Tower 2, <laughs> Tower 2 is probably going to take about... $2.4 billion. <laughs> well, the uh, bottom line of the Israeli nuclear program is the so-called Samson option. This is a form of extreme nuclear blackmail. If the world doesn't go along with Israel, especially in a situation where Israel felt that its existence as an apartheid Jewish state and crime base for the world's biggest banksters is ever threatened, then it will blow up the capitals of Europe as well as the Middle East, and implicitly they're also threatening the United States. Um, though they may not have missiles that can reach the United States, as I said, there are reports in the intelligence community that, in fact, Israel has planted miniature nuclear weapons in American cities. In this video, now looking at the videos we've seen come out of Beirut, it looks strikingly similar in the afternoon. See this? That's seven months ago? Seven months ago. And what caught that was the, the shockwave sort of shocked me. I haven't seen a shockwave like that before. It, it's very distinctive. Today. Until today. Until today. It's very it's distinctive. A, yeah, it's the same shape. Everything looks identical. It looks like a, an air bubble coming up and then dissipating. That's exactly what we saw in like Beirut. A, like a, a low-yield nuclear blast. Yes, and uh, the Israelis and Americans refer to this as bunker busters. The Moab could be considered the most powerful bunker buster we have. <laughs>
يا عطرة البداية يا عطرة انفجار انفجار نووي من شي دقيقة صار في اطلاق للأحرى طيارة عملت خارتين نحن بمعرفة بيروت تأذينا منه صار هلا طيارة عملت غارة رجعت طيارة تانية عملت غارة تانية ببيروت نحن تأذينا منه صراحة طيارة ضربت ببيروت والمرفق اتضرر ما بعرف التفاصيل شو صايرة ما بعرف بالظبط معناته او قصف او طلع شيء جديد انفجار بس في صوت طيران شكلهم ضاربين شيء شيء شحنة اوه اوه وات ذا شو هي الاملة النووية بيطلع صوت كثير قوي انتبهوا In this video, now looking at the videos we've seen come out of Beirut, it looks strikingly similar in the afternoon. See this? That's seven months ago. Seven months ago. And what caught that was the, the shockwave sort of shocked me. I haven't seen a shockwave like that before. It, it's very today, distinctive. Until today. Until today. It's very it's distinctive. A, yeah, it's the same shape. Everything looks identical. It looks like a, an air bubble coming up and then dissipating. That's exactly what we saw in like Beirut. A, like a, a low-yield nuclear blast. Yes, and uh, Israelis and Americans are afraid this is bunker busters. The Moab could be considered the most powerful bunker busters.